individual is quite good. There's loads of students. Right, the chief will be out in about five minutes. Uh, I'm just going to read out a statement. There's no, there's no opportunity. For, about five minutes. Yeah. Uh, there'll be no opportunities for questions, unfortunately, but you will get everything you need from the press release. There's a lot uh, from the statement. There's a lot of new information she'll provide you with as well. So uh, about five minutes. Sorry. It's, it's going to be up on our website as well. So afterwards, in about half an hour's time, it'll be up on our website if you need the full version of it. Is that okay? I can try and do that, but there's so many people in our rolling chain, it's going to be really, really difficult to do that. But we will all be up on full on our website for you today. Yeah, but at the same time, not half an hour later. Well, after the press conference has happened, it will go straight up. So you'll, you'll get it pretty short okay. quickly. Yeah, I'll make sure that happens for you. I know. Can't wait for the replies to be like, wow, poor man, do you want to say that is? Hey, Tim. Turned off replies. Step over this when he walks out. Oh, so, so yeah. 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 Just tons of speculation. We we'll need to know whether they were illegal migrants, illegal immigrants, so I don't know if they're so it'll be like that source is gonna be so isn't it? Yeah. Of course it is. It's horrible. It's horrible. Here we go. Here we go. As you all know, today there has been a shocking and tragic series of events which has led to the lives of three innocent people being taken and left another member of the public in a critical condition in hospital. 
My thoughts are with all the families affected by this horrific incident, and we are working extremely hard to try and understand exactly what has happened. I can tell you that a 31-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of murder and remains in police custody. We are not looking for anyone else in connection with the attacks, and I can reassure the public that it is safe to visit the city centre. There may be some road restrictions in place as we continue to establish exactly what has happened. Police were called to Wilkeston Road just after 4am, after a member of the public reported that two people aged 19 had been stabbed and were unresponsive. We had a further call to another incident in Milton Street, where the driver of a stolen van had attempted to run over three people. As a result, one man is in hospital in a critical condition, while two others are believed to have suffered minor injuries. The van was then stopped on Maple Street, where a man was tasered and detained by police officers on suspicion of murder. A man in his 50s was also found dead from knife injuries in Magdala Road by a member of the public. At the moment, we believe that the suspect has stolen this man's vehicle and driven it to Milton Street, where he is then driven at members of the public. We are still in the early stages of the investigation and need to determine exactly what the motives were behind this attack. We are keeping an open mind and are working closely with counter-terrorism policing to establish the facts, as we would normally do in this type of circumstances. The families of all the victims have been informed and are being supported by specially trained officers. <whistles> officers have also carried out a number of searches at addresses across the city to gather evidence, but no further arrests have been made. A team of dedicated detectives are investigating the circumstances surrounding the incident and will continue to gather evidence over the coming days. I want to thank those who live and work in our city for their patience and understanding in incredibly difficult circumstances. We will of course keep the public updated as soon as we are able to say anything further. This is a very sad day for our city and we will do everything possible to get justice for the victims and their families. Thank you. Chief Constable, what do you think the motive was here? Yeah, let's get going.